uh, YouTube. So today we're taking the um, stand off the bike to lubricate it. As you can see, I've got the two um, the mounting holes there for the um, stand. There's the switch. You have to take that off first. Do that before you do anything else. And you've got your mounting bolts here. I actually use the breaker bar to um, sort of take them out. They're pretty tight, so they'll be going back in equally as tight. Um, yes, yeah, so I put a coat of paint over the the uh, stand because it looked a bit average so it's been drying all night it's nice and warm here down under at the moment so basically that um, pivot bolt goes through there there's an, a lock nut 14 mil spanner on each end will get that apart as you can see the thread for your switch um, bolt is in the top there and um, put a bit of grease on the pegs where the spring mounts as well as um, cleaned up all in there put new grease in it this, um, this is the high pressure grease we're using and um, yeah so while we're on this side of the bike I thought I'd also show you where I've zip tied up these hose out the way I put hose clamps you can't see the hose clamps probably under the cover but these are the ones that um, oh there it is at the top both these um, hoses run into the carburetor from the um, the radiator to make the um, car be warm up. If you're ever in um, cold, freezing climates, you might need it, but we don't need it here, so I've um, bypassed all that. And um, it's looped around your choke just to um, sort of make the car be run a bit cooler, more power. And... Um, yeah, so that's it for today. I'm just going to tighten up the spokes. Pretty much done all the maintenance items for this um, 8,000 mile service because the bike's just done um, 12,500 k since new, so it's about 8,000 miles. And um, I did the diff oil, looped all the cables, uh, yeah, put a new air filter and spark plugs and and the valves and checked all the hoses for tightness and all the nuts and bolts greased in here greased the um i'll do the brake fluid next and and i've um, greased all the pins in the um calipers and that and as you've seen the early video cleaned out the drum brakes so uh, yeah it's been um a restoration and maintenance sort of project all in one and um yeah, I've just been looking at up close. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's scraped by any of the the bad pitting with my fingernail. And then I used my um, fine metal polish, which I use to um, clean up all the bright work. As you can see, it's it's come good. There was a lot of pitting before. This is the stuff. Blue Magic, not sponsored, but yeah, it's really good for um, cleaning up pits without scratching into the chrome. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for my running video coming soon. Thanks for watching.